Hey, um, so this is part two of our harrowing moving experience with uh, National Relocation Van Lines. Um, and I'm going to pick up right where we left off. Um, if you're asking yourself when you're watching these, why on earth is she going into so much detail? Why are they so long? Um, I'm going to start off with telling you that I read the reviews for National Relocation Van Lines. Like, I'm, I'm, you know, I would like to think that at 26 years old, I at least know something about anything, and that I knew that you should read reviews before you go with a service or buy a product. Um, I read the reviews, and there were a lot of bad reviews and a lot of good ones, but I'll tell you what, I'm a rational human being, and I thought to myself, people go online to write bad reviews. Um, I've had a lot of great experiences in a lot of great places. Um, I very rarely go online to tell people about them, but sure as hell, if I have a bad experience, best believe I am online, like, never go to this bar, never go to this hairdresser, like, I'm the first person to say something. Um, but like I said, for good experiences, generally that's not, that's just not what people do. Um, so I... You know, I rationalized it that that's why there were so many bad reviews, but there were good reviews on there. You know, looking back, I know you can buy reviews. They probably bought good reviews. You know, these things happen. Um, but here's the thing. When people say in a review, like in a review that's a paragraph long, like they didn't show up with our things for four weeks or I never got my things, or all of my things were broken, or whatever, um, you can immediately think that you were in a different situation, because our guy said this, and our guy's doing this for us, and we're not going to run into that because we have a guaranteed delivery date, and on and on and on. The fact of the matter is, is that the setup is usually the same, and... This is why these videos are going to be so long and so in-depth. Because I, if you're sitting here thinking, that's not my situation, that's not what Leo told me, I'm here to tell you exactly what he told me. And if it sounds familiar, you walk. Because I'm here to tell you that, that our situations are probably really similar if you're watching this video. So, uh, read reviews talked to Leo Young. <laughs> I'm going to say his name a lot. Um, Leo Young, who um, wanted us to submit our inventory list and a deposit of $935 to him the next day. Um, come to find out later that reputable moving companies do not ask for deposits. And they come out and take your inventory in person most of the time. Um, this was not that at all. Um, he wanted me to email the inventory. He wanted a deposit. Again, that sounded fine to me. I didn't... Who would send out somebody to an inventory list? Like, that doesn't make... That just blew me away when I found out that that was a thing. And as for the deposit, that made total sense to me. You were taking your time and bringing your truck to my location, how do you know that I'm going to pay you anything? You know, I uh, deposits are great on our goods and services. Um, when my fiance and I hold a snake for people, we ask for a deposit. That's just how things go. Um, so I didn't think that was weird. I didn't think it was weird at all. Um, so then Leo calls us back like two days later and says that we have a problem. Oh, yeah, there's a problem. And uh, um, my inventory list was larger than he had previously anticipated. And even though I had given the inventory list to probably a dozen moving companies and they'd all come up with this, like, 5,000 to 7,500 7, pound range, um, Leo was like, it's going to be way more than that. It's going to be, like, 9,000 pounds. Um, but he was like, you know, I'm probably overestimating, you will, you know, you're gonna save money, it's, it's fine, it's fine, don't worry, even worry about it. Um, and he also explained to me that, um, they have two ways of 
measuring your stuff for final payment. And that is either by weight, where they take your truck through a weigh station and they weigh it and tell you how much your stuff weighs, or um, they measure it by cubic feet, which he did not explain how that was done, just that that's something that they do. Um, knowing that all of these snakes equipment is very large and bulky, but rather light, I told him that I wanted to go by weight. And I was told by Leo Young that it didn't matter, that going by weight was the same to them as going by cubic feet, and it was just personal preference. The company preferred to go by cubic feet because that way, he told me that that way I knew exactly what I was getting, like exactly how much I needed to pay before the truck drove away. Um, he also told me that that way they could keep a measurement of the things going onto the truck and when they got close to that allotted amount of space, they would say like, hey, we're getting really close to that allotted amount of space. Do you need to change your plans or anything to stay within our, our frame? Still, we have a lot of heavy, large items, and I, or a lot of light, large items. The snake racks probably weigh 35 pounds a piece, but take up an awful lot of room. Um, so I was like, no, 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 we're going to go by way, way, way better. Um, then he wanted a bigger deposit. Uh, because our inventory was way more than he thought, so he wanted more money up front. Um, so at this point, I got a little bit nervous, because he seemed nervous. And I wanted to clarify that they were going to be picking my things up on the 30th and dropping them off the 31st or the 1st, which was my final day. And he was like, yeah, no problem. We remember he said that. Um, and all of a sudden, on this phone call, he's like, what are you talking about? What do you, what do you mean? Um, and my fiancé, who was also on the line, we had a very stern conversation with Leo, um, once again reminding him that without heat, um, our animals would die, and we have a very valuable snake collection, and if they died, it would be a very expensive problem. Um, <laughs> it's really funny, actually. My fiancé was like, this will hurt our business relationship, Leo, if you mess this up. <laughs> um... I'm glad I can laugh about that now. Um, so, Leo was like, oh, okay, well, hang on, let me ask my manager. So he gets off the phone to go talk to his manager. Um, and he comes back and says, like, okay, yeah, yeah we're, we're totally good, we're totally good. So we're going to pick up the 30th and drop off the 31st or the 1st. Um, and I was like, okay, cool, just, that's, that's fine, right? I feel like things are better. I was like, I'm, I will wait for the full contract and the new deposit sheet, and, uh, I'll get back to you. Well, um, like, a day or two went by, uh, now, I, I probably, again, this is something I should have mentioned in the, in the first video, that this move is very last- well, I did say it was last minute, but I didn't tell you how last minute. We arranged all of our moving stuff within the last two weeks before we were to move. Um, by this point, we were only, like, five days away. Um, and we hadn't heard from Leo for, like, two days. And I didn't have the deposit sheet. I didn't have the contract. Um... And I was just like, why hasn't he sent it to us? He wanted the deposit, like, now. Um, so we tried calling, and he was out of the office on a Monday. On a business working Monday, he was out of the office the whole day. Um, we tried getting in touch with customer service, and nobody ever picked up. Uh, I left a message with customer service, and nobody ever returned our phone call. Um... Finally, like two days in, uh, somebody picked up the phone at Leo's desk. Um, his name was Ryan. I cannot remember his last name, but his name was Ryan. Um, 
picked up the phone and was like, hey, yeah, I'm Leo's on vacation, and I'm covering for Leo as Leo's on vacation. Um, my fiance was the one that had the conversation with Ryan. I was in the room, um, but something about me, I will, I have no problem getting in your face in person. Um, if you want to get nasty with me in person, or you want to hardline me in person, I will come for you. But I can't do it over the phone. I don't know what it is. I just, my confrontational abilities disappear when, when a phone line is between us. Um, so I, I was like, please, can you handle this? Because if he, if he's a loon, I have, I can't deal with it. Cause I'm just going to say, okay, okay, okay. I don't know what it is. I just, that's how I am. Um, so Ryan was like, well, Leo never put any of this stuff in about your date. He never put anything in about these animals. What is this about the bigger deposit? I don't see, like, um, why haven't you guys paid it yet? It should have been paid already. All of this stuff. He also tells us at this point that there is no going by weight, that you have to go by cubic feet, that in order to go by weight, it is an extra $1,500 charge. Um... And that that's just, and my fiance was like, well, that's not what we were told. That's not what, what we put our deposit down knowing. And the guy just kept, Ryan kept saying, that's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. Um, and as far as the delivery date, Ryan was like, I can't, I can't guarantee that it's going to be there by the 31st or the 1st. I just, that's just not going to happen. Um, you know, we have a 14 day window that we're allowed to drop things off in. And my fiance, um, was getting progressively more and more upset with him. Um, and was like, no, you don't understand. We have animals that will die if they don't receive their caging, which you will have on your truck. And if you had told us in the beginning that you weren't, we couldn't go by weight, if you had told us that you couldn't guarantee a delivery date, we would have gone with another moving company because we would have because we can't we can't afford to take those kind of risks and so Ryan so f my fiance started saying that he was you know I need to talk to a manager I need to talk to somebody because this is just isn't adding this isn't right this isn't right um so Ryan gets off the phone to talk to his manager. To talk to his manager. It seems to be a thing. Um, and he comes back with, with better news. And he's like, okay, you know, um, so we're going to waive the extra deposit. Um, you have to go by cubic feet because that's just what we do. But we'll give you a $200 discount. Um... And I will give you a guaranteed delivery date of August 1st. Okay. And, you know, okay. Guaranteed delivery date August 1st. In writing. Waive the deposit. $200 off. But we have to go by cubic feet. Okay. Alright. We'll just, you know, alright. It's like three or four days from the move at this point. Um... You know, and we knew that if we walked, we were losing our deposit, which was a thousand dollars, basically. Um, and we did not have the money to just walk away from a thousand dollars. We just don't. Um, and that's just how things go. So, um, gosh, I'm saying I'm a lot. So I'm trying to recollect all these minute details to tell you as much as possible, like the things that that happened. So that it doesn't happen to you. Um, again, like these... And he is like, here, you know, take my cell phone number. I'm really sorry that you couldn't get a hold of Leo for the last two days. This will avoid communication blackout. If you have any questions at all, please contact my cell, my cell phone. Here's the number. And talk to me. I'm here for you. And that made us feel way better. Um... You know, putting all of your things on a truck with a bunch of strangers is a scary experience in and of itself. And so 
we were just kind of okay 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 and that made us feel way better that we had his personal number um he told us that the movers would be in touch the 29th to confirm that they would be there the next day and that they would call us on the 30th to uh tell us what time they were going to be there um so we we said okay and that was that was how that all went um then the 29th came and my fiance uh had closing for the house on the 30th i'd already signed him power of attorney and everything so he left to go to north carolina and sign for our new home and we hadn't heard anything from the movers and we tried calling everybody and ryan's desk didn't pick up leo's desk didn't pick up customer service didn't pick up on a wednesday um nobody was there and you know who who knows was, we thought it was a fluke um but nobody ever picked up and nobody ever called us on the 29th so my fiance took off um and that brings us to moving day which was the 30th um this video is already 16 minutes long so i'm gonna cut it here and start another video for uh, moving day number one like i said this is probably going to be a series of videos um so you can kind of check out wherever you're like okay this isn't my situation or whatever um just to be as thorough as possible and to make it easier on the watcher again so it's not like one forty five minute video um so there you go and i will see you in part three the movie